Okay, Mr. Case Hatter here. We're <coughs> working on the 60 inch glider I'm going to use for uh, FPV. As you can see, we got a Harmon wing. I'm using 11 inch on a lot of lift. The uh, ailerons here on each end. Fairly big, but I'm going to use uh, very little input. You notice I got a pod mounted in the middle of the wing. It's almost at the CG point, just a little bit forward. Uh, I'm just going to be a pusher. And we also I've installed, in my servo leads, I've installed some big landing gear because I fly in some grassy places sometimes. I live in the foothills, so I got a lot of trees and mountains and pastures and whatnot. If you'll notice, I've got some suspension built into my landing gear. I put a pretty stout mounting surface here, and I, it's epoxy to a main spar that runs through the wing full spar it's a half inch poplar spar half inch by half inch and I use the 30 inch section of Dollar Tree foam and uh, then two uh, 15 inch sections one on each end overlapping spar and it's bolted together using a blind nut screw that where it overlaps it the bolt goes through and holds it nice and firm. Then I got a small dowel rod in the in this area here. It runs from here to here. Basically it's forty eight inches. It's just divided. And here I've got uh, Basically, it's just uh, I use clothes hangers because it's a nice, good, strong wire. It's easy to come by. And I've hooked clothes hangers over the main spar, over the small spar, and I will bend these into a hook and hook rubber bands around the fuselage. Now, let's see what this weighs. Since it's 60 inches and I've got all this stuff on here, we might think it weighs a lot. Let's chop some. I need to cut on my scales. Uh, by the way, I'm using the CPS computer charge scale. They're for HVAC, but they go up to 50 pounds and they'll read in imperial or metric. I prefer imperial. Okay, we're zeroed out. Put the wing on. Let's make sure we get all the way. And we are at one pound nine and a half ounces. Not too bad, considering. Okay, so most of the weight's going to be on the wing. And I'm going to use a between a 200 and 400 uh, watt motor. I haven't decided yet. As you can see, my little arsenal of planes, some I built and some I purchased. But this is my first big, big glider. Now, let's take another little trial here. Our scale is balanced. We're going to I'm going to put on two four cell batteries. They weigh one pound, one pound, one and a quarter ounces. Okay, that's two four cell, 2200 milliamp batteries. Okay, now my fuselage is built out of corrugated plastic. It is 
it comes in 36 inch long sheets by 30 inches I took the uh, 36 inch length of it uh, cut my fuselage out same as you would arm and wing just cut one side and then folded it in between the corrugations maybe you can see the corrugations and they run lengthwise so that's going to help you okay cut her here and I cut her here and put her together with hot glue and the parts I cut out I used to overlap here here and on the bottom can't even find it there it is it starts there and ends here and I use Dollar Tree foam form cross members with uh, some little lightweight quarter inch dowel rods and I'm going to put this in the front you've seen the weight you see it's long I'm stick it under my arm use one hand and pick it up see how strong this fuselage is I'm going to cap it with the same material and then cover it with the uh, tape that I got from Tape Brothers, thanks Ed for the arm and the wing and the tip on the Tape Brothers. My color scheme is going to be yellow. So we've used two types of board. We've got the Dollar Tree foam and we've got this board that you can get at your building supply and it's around $7 a sheet, 30 by 36. It's used for signs. See it's corrugated plastic. I also use another type of board and you can find this at Walgreens, uh, Rite Aid, uh, Walmart, and it's Elmer's board. Very hard paper core and the foam in the middle of the two papers is a little more dense than the foam board from Dollar Tree. So that's going to be my uh, tail and it fit through a slot and down in my few slots working on it that's my vertical stabilizer my rudder is going to be a two-piece rudder the uh, tail wheel will be set up it'll go through the fuselage and this little dial rod will go across the width of the fuselage and this will bend and the wheel will mount on this uh, there again it's just closed hanger material and I'm going to have a servo to run the, the ground wheel and one for the rudder. Alright, uh, I've got my uh, horizontal stabilizer and I've used basically the Elmer's foam board and it does come in colors guys. We got yellow here and I've glued it onto the Dollar Tree foam board to give a little extra strength and rigid and rigid because it's a pretty big tail and I put it together using Elmer's uh, uh, contact adhesive you can get that at where you get the Elmer's foam board it's very good it's foam safe I would recommend doing it outside it's got a lot of odor uh, and what uh, I'm a bachelor so I can get away with all this here in the house uh, <laughs> okay so that's where I'm at now on building I'm going to be working on it today putting together my glider and uh, as you can see I have used uh, Ed's arm and wing before and some of my own scraps and pieces uh, this long glider that you see in the background, the blue and white, the wing is off of a Super Cub. The uh, body is Dollar Tree foam, and the, re the rear is a piece of uh, tube out of a wrapping paper that made, made the extension. I wanted a nice long surface to try as a heavyweight glider. And that particular airplane flies great. I put two 11.1, uh, 2200 milliamp batteries right beside the top. As you can see, my straps up there. So I'm using uh, 
and then I'm using them in parallel so it's giving me 4500 milliamps and that gives me about 15 minutes of flight time flies beautiful the guys at the field were amazed how good that little thing flew and that's just threw together in a weekend uh, over here's my other little planes we won't get into that but that's it with this build I'll have a, another part later as I finish it up and uh, then we'll have a we'll have a section on the flight oh by the way let me give you a little something good reading one of the weight books I use here is Foxfire now if you like the ways of the old people and uh, how they lived and survived the Foxfire edition is a good book there's basically four editions and then you have a 40th anniversary edition this was my first book excellent reading and I'm into all kinds of gadget books and stuff uh, Mr. Tinker okay so we'll see you on the next one fly safe